Right, now today, let's open the car bonnet and we'll see what we're going to do today because when we open it, we're going to do something today. This is what it looks like under there. And I quite like it, I'm impressed. The engine's uploaded on this side. Look, on that side, because is it mine or yours? So, what you got under there is your alternator wheels, the robot controller, your car alarm is all the way down in the engine. Okay, now what if I wanted to do is have a look and just tell you and talk to you about the car. Or you can have the fan or the motor. So we were going to talk about to get this fan replaced and just test the motor. So to do this, what I'm going to remove free from the vehicle is this air pump gun that removes by itself and her and helps other pumps. And you've got the four classroom banger, what goes to the pump, what helps. And what you got down there is you need to grab is if I can reach it. So if I remove that cover out of the way, you can see the fan. Right, there's the fan. Where did I put the motor? Right, this is the fan motor. Okay. Now, to put these things back, is I'm just going to take this fan here and this little fan bit spins around. So you'll see what... The fan, it's a yellow fan, so if you take that yellow fan off the motor, it's magnetic, and it's a DC motor, as you can see. So it'll be a DC motor. It's two kilos. It has a hexagon shape. You can actually easily put this on. And that spins. Now to put this back, we are going to clip this into place. There you go, now it's clipped into place. Now we need to put this back in is our floor crash swing, banger crackler. And then what you need to put back in, free in the engine is this is not free anymore so we need to put it back in okay and then you're gonna have to put our pumper in and that should do it now it was pretty good from having a look at and checking on our fan motor and please could having a look from it but the comments below is what you can do so next thing we're going to have a look at our car alarm now i don't know what the car alarm is going to look like but hold on right sorry guys right what we're up to is to our horn well, the radiator on this thing, if you move this out of the way, you can still can't see it. So you've got our cover, and the engine's on located on this side of the car, but you can't see it. And you've got your uh, DCU and your DCU compressor. So you've got your robot controller. And then down there will be your car alarm. So to take this apart, I'm not taking that apart because entire time will be all the way down into the engine. 
Now, if you're installing a car engine, it always matters whether you have. And when I was in the car today, the car alarm went off and I was like, oh my Jesus. But we don't want to say that. So, the reasons with your electric sticks on one of my chip chaps is one of my chip chaps are not doing anything wrong. But one of my chip chaps would be under. Okay? Now, under there would be two engine mounts and a fried wires. And your car alarm would be all the way under there. So it would be under the robot. So if you need this to remove, if you wanted to, you could remove this clock or clash room bang and then you can open this and then you can see the car alarm. So it's a good job for us, we're going to take this off and see the car alarm. But in this vehicle it will definitely have it under there. So look down and look closely and you'll see it. If you move out the way, it won't let you turn the torch on. Right. If you look beneath there, you'll see some wires. And that'll be car alarm, but you can't see it because it'll be dark. So if you move that robot out of the way, and then you'll see it because it was under there, so. There it is. Now we're open. Right. Let's take a look at this then. Now what you got is your car alarm sensor. And this is what your car alarm look like. It's your sensor. To put this back on, we're just gonna fit this on the robot controller on the B and then we have to fit this cover here and this is a very special DCU so be careful on this DCU because you could get big electric shocks and it's a big and powerful circuit board and they're pretty expensive too so be very careful so if you move out the way if you go down into there no you can't see any white down there but if you see a white square, that would be the car alarm. Because one of my favourite alarms, one of my favourite car alarms, are the black ones, the black square ones, rather than the white square ones. But they are the same, but I was expecting to lift all of the entire engine out of there. So if I lift all that stuff out of the engine, so I'll show you. If I get my two hands... I lift all that stuff out the engine, you can manage to get the car alarm off. Now by doing this, we're going to take this to bits, pretty easy. So if we take uh, this off, and then we'll take our alternator wheels out. And then you can manage to see, if you move these out the way, Three. Now you need to move that out the way. Now you can start to see the carb alarm now. So we'll move them both stuff out the way. And then you'll manage to get to the carb alarm. And then we're down. So there is our carb alarm. Now to put this thing back together, we're just going to get our thing and and you see if I go lower down there you'll see that white square sensor sensor with them touching B oh. right here's the there's the sensor and there's the car alarm pretty much like without a car alarm eh now to put this sensor back I'm just gonna put it back where it was so it needs to be down. Oh, this is so tricky. Okay. And then when our car alarm's back, now we need to get our seal to our pump seal direction. And then where did I put my plate? 
We need to get the plate back in place where it goes. But that's not normally properly right. So it needs to go on right. There we go. And then where is the cylinder? What goes to the cylinders? Okay. And then we need that. That's good. And then we need our alternator wheels lifted in. And we need our ECU in. So. Okay. I don't think this is going to be right, but it was right before. I think we'll have to put them. Alright. Hold on a minute. Place. And where do we put our robot controller? There's our robot controller. And we finally done made it. Now, what they normally need is our uh, DCU. So let's give it back. Hang on. Oh my god, Batman. There. Okay. 35 people actually kill Batman. Right. 25 troopers. There. So you've got our DCU in place, our alternator wheels. If it will close. Oh, what is this? That's our vehicle built back home. Right, so that goes here. Yeah. And here. So our car alarm's down there now. So now, as we look, we'll look like a proper engine. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to see more about it, just click on my channel and give me beginnings and sausages. So bye.